John Dunn go and catch a falling star an introduction to John Dunn Dunn was born in 1572 in London in England he was born in a roman catholic family dun was the founder of famous metaphysical poetry he himself was the most significant of all the metaphysical poets when dun lived in england there was a political turmoil going on because of the death of beloved queen elizabeth i england was ruled by james i who was less popular than queen elizabeth though dun was a catholic himself but catholicism was illegal in england at that time dun later on renounced catholicism and became a protestant clergyman dun also became the dean of saint paul's cathedral he was very close to the king and served king james directly for many years the essential elements of metaphysical poetry metaphysical is a philosophical concept it is used in literature to describe the things that are beyond the description of physical existence in literature metaphysical is often used with poetry metaphysical poetry is a type of poetry which was written in the 17th century metaphysical poetry is marked by a naturalness and directness of language this poetry is argumentative and uses questions metaphysical poetry also uses conceits what are conceits we will discuss later on metaphysical poetry also uses hyperbole which means exaggeration metaphysical poetry is marked by the use of allusions now allusion is a brief and indirect reference to a person place thing or idea which is of historical cultural literary or political significance uh, it does not describe in detail the person or thing to which it refers the subject matter of metaphysical poetry is usually philosophical or divine the approach of such poetry is often rational and not emotional metaphysical poets acknowledge the essential paradoxes of life conceits are used in metaphysical poetry conceit as a literary device uses an extended metaphor that compares two very dissimilar things conceit is often elaborate and controls a large section of a poem or the entire poem conceits are often quite unique and ingenious and can present striking juxtaposition and comparison of the unlike things conceit and metaphor are two figures of speech that are often used in literature 
a metaphor is a comparison between two unlike things a conceit is an extended metaphor or a fanciful metaphor especially a highly elaborate or extended metaphor in which an unlikely far fetched or strained comparison is made between two things conceits are unconventional they are logically complex too conceits are more intellectual than sensual characteristics of dunn's works dunn wrote poetry on love religion and also death his poems are written in collections of two major volumes that is satires and songs and sonnets dunn is often considered as the greatest love poet in the english language dunn is also noted for his religious verse and treatises and for his sermons which rank among the best of the 17th century dunn employs conceits or extended metaphors to yoke together heterogeneous ideas in the words of samuel johnson thus dunn generates the powerful ambiguity for which his work is famous his poems are also noted for their metaphorical and sensual style and include sonnets love poems religious poems latin translations epigrams elegies songs and satires Dunn's style is characterized by abrupt openings and various paradoxes, ironies and dislocations. Thus we see his poems have a dramatic power and individuality. He exhibits a subtle wit in his poems. Dunn wrote poetry which was complex and richly symbolic. go and catch a falling star as a metaphysical poem go and catch a falling star has all the characteristics of a metaphysical poem it is more intellectual and less emotional dun asserts his theme that beautiful and faithful women are mythical and are rare to find this he does by using a number of arguments and analogies dun reiterates his argument that is stresses his point of view by using a number of logical points he uses his metaphysical manner to mingle the light with the serious that is two different ideas are brought together dun writes about the serious theme of infidelity of women in a very light manner he uses hyperbole and allusions in order to stress his theme that it is very difficult to find a beautiful and a faithful woman in the end he says that it is impossible to find a beautiful and a faithful woman the theme of go and catch a falling star this poem was published after the death of dun in 1633 under the title song the theme of the poem is women's infidelity or unfaithfulness or faithlessness of women
the poem is written in a light hearted mood and is satirical dun states that it is impossible to find a faithful or a loyal woman in the whole world dun expresses his distrust and melancholy bitterness and cynicism towards women and relationships